Active stretch is better or passive stretch is better? Always active is the best way to gather information on neuromotor control. Dr. Andrew Shortal. Dr. Joji John. Dr. Tahmina Islam Hamid. बहुत कॉमन है फिजियोस के लिए और स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन्स के लिए। इफ अ पर्सन कम्स विथ हैप्स स्ट्रेच फुल हो गया है हैम्स क्या ट्रीटमेंट सजेस्ट करते हो अगर आप ये स्ट्रेच को बताएं सर द क्वेश्चन अबाउट हैम्सट्रिंग इंजरी आई वुड सर्टेनली गो टुवर्ड्स राइट्स व्हेन आई वाज इन द पीपीटी एरा ऑफ लेट 1990स बट थिंग्स हैज चेंज्ड एंड थिंग्स हैज चेंज्ड ड्रास्टिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉट ओनली लाइक स्पोर्ट्स फिजियो बट ओवरऑल इन टर्म्स ऑफ टीम वर्क दिस टीम विल ट्राई टू कीप दैट एथलीट or a you know a weekend warrior as fit as possible now coming back to the hamstring strain my first go to will be how did that happen what is the age group is there a possibility of injury which might be acute or subacute or chronic so there are many variables located by the hamstring injury first thing is if there is changes in the inflammatory process i would certainly apply ice and rest that is the best bestest possible medicine that you can give to your patient by resting that area or joint i have a little bit of experience in national football league no other healthcare professionals go in the field to treat the patient or to treat that athlete other than the physical therapist or physiotherapist the first response for that individual is to check if that patient is breathing or not if everything all the vascular parameters are okay or not and then they look into the details of how that injury happened and they we have a system called game ready game ready is actually an equipment it is an iceless cold or hot or uh, contrast or compressive type of therapy with a cylindrical wrap that we put around that area because it's an acute condition it just happened right there on the field and it bring him or her on the stretcher and outside the area as a therapist immobilize that area you try to reduce the inflammatory process and then send him or her to the doctor aapke hisab se kya karna chahiye active stretch is better or passive stretch is better always active is the best way to gather information on neuromotor control and if you over stretch that joint passively then you are actually way stretching way too much of the rubber band and losing the elasticity of that muscle and supposedly the neuromotor control you come to the optimum length tension of the hamstring which may or may not include calves depending on if there is a neural sagging involvement or not if there is not since you are saying it's a chronic justin hamstring uh, you know strain and i'm taking it bluntly i would actually do a little bit of a passive length tension if the length tension looks to me is okay compared to the good side then i will ask him or her to actively stretch as much as possible to their own comfort level